Hey folks, it's Monday. We're out here in the shed. Stay tuned. Hey YouTubers, Mike Boggs here with you from East Kentucky Pickers. Wow, what an insane weekend we just had here. I shipped out probably around, I know it was over 50 some packages, about $1,200. So it was a great weekend of sales for us here. And uh, so today I took those off to the post office there'll be a picture right here of the Ikea bags and everything before I took off and uh, wow just uh, definitely a blessed weekend that's for sure it's been cold here in East Kentucky and uh, still been working on this new shed getting everything set up and stuff so you know I'm always changing things I put place stuff in one place and I'm always changing it going back and forth adding here subtracting here so it's a work in progress definitely but we're coming along but right here i'm going to take you for a uh, a small tour of what we got going on this is a the shipping center right here that i ship all the packages out with and all that great stuff and then as you can see there's all of my bins that has all of my items that's currently listed on ebay i've only got random stuff and and, and it's scattered throughout all bins are not filled up and all my larger items is up top there on that top shelf that i have listed uh those big packages there is what i have listed on facebook marketplace this is all my multimedia uh cds dvds and video games they're they're listed in no particular order but i've just got them listed up in like this is a1 a2 a3 all the way down to a5 then this is b1 b2 b3 all the way down to uh, b5 as well this is my c shelf this is c1 c2 c3 down to c5 this here has a lot of my current playstation games and nintendo stuff and miscellaneous i'm doing this as my xbox xbox 360 those are all the PSP Lord of Arcana games right there. Then I have some DVDs and Blu-rays listed there. This shelf over here has all my inventory that needs to be listed. All your brown boxes there is the Lord of Arcana games that's sealed in cases of 12. Uh, some stuff that I've got to get cleaned with my uh, JFJ Easy Pro. And this is stuff right here that's in line that I'm getting ready to list. As you can see, I've already done some research there, and uh, that's how I'm going to list it, which I might make a few modifications I have in the past and stuff there. And this right here is my photos boost station. I've got to make some modifications here uh, somehow. Uh, I'm getting some, I don't know if it's too white with a light there that's coming down or what, but. When I go to take pictures, I'm getting some black lines and stuff. So I'm going to go in here and probably change that white wall right here and right here. I'm probably going to put something black or brown, something that's easy to take off and on. And so I can leave that white bottom there. That's something I'm getting ready to list right there. That's the uh, Ernie Lombardo bobblehead. And then I've got my sticker door going on there. And my first sticker up is from Lonnie, the Garage Flips. I purchased, I had purchased some of his uh, box cutters and uh, he shipped me some of them stickers. So that's my first sticker on the door, Lonnie, from over at Garage Flip, Flips and Shed Flips. Uh, I know he's listing them box, cut, box cutters up for uh, sale at 7 p.m. each night. I think he's listing like 30 of them up each night and they're selling extremely fast from what the video I just watched. I've been over on YouTube catching some, uh, catching up on some videos and uh, from Lonnie and Matt from Part Time Pickers and uh, uh, actually I've, I'm watching Kevin right now from the Commonwealth Picker. I'm watching his video that he posted today. So I'm watching YouTube videos while I'm doing packaging or listing items so that's how i fulfill my day but uh i've got some items i've got to pull so uh let me pull up my uh 
awaiting shipment form and then we'll get those pulled all righty here we are now let's go pick our first item it's going to be on a a4 right back here and it's the best of the doobie brothers which is right here best of the doobie brothers it's uh a rock pop cd i have several of them in stock i think it's showing like 19 of them left in stock and it sold for 4.95 plus shipping 4.95 plus shipping i only have like 25 cents in my cds they're all brand new i have 25 cents a piece in them i got a big pallet of them big pallet uh, it was like a four by four by four pallet and it was just loaded with about three 3,500 DVDs in it, so, I mean, CDs, oops, and, uh, so, remarkable deal, and those things always sell, so, that's been a pretty good flip for me, that's, actually, the CDs is what helped get my shed, uh, so, if that gives you any kind of ideas how well music CDs sell, because I've heard so many people saying, people don't buy CDs, they stream it anymore, and stuff like that, and uh that's not the case folks trust me people still buy music cds it's insane i ship probably i would say at least 20 cds out a day and a lot of time it's multi-orders you know people buying two and three cds especially when you got groups like disturbed and shine down rock bands uh a lot of people buy multiple of that cd so that's always a good thing so our next item is going to be on our famous shelf c3 if you are a youtube subscriber to my channel you know i sell a lot of these this is the lord of arcana it's sold for 6.95 and free shipping 6.95 and free shipping i purchased them and a also a pallet buy i bought 3228 of them which is about 269 cases. I bought the picture will be here of the pallet I bought, and uh, so that was a. Uh, I went out on a limb for it. They was all 3,228 PSP of the same title. I was hesitant at first to buy them, and then I was like, you know what? For the price that they quoted me the pallet for, there's no way that I could say no. Yes, it might take me some time to sell them, but I've been fortunate enough to flip some to uh, other YouTubers and eBayers that sell on eBay and Macari and all that stuff. I don't sell on Macari or any other platform other than eBay. So some other YouTubers has purchased uh, some cases off of me and I shipped them out to them at some remarkable prices and uh, to help liquidate some of that. Uh, death pile of that particular game but yeah that's crazy buying that many of them but they i have this over this past weekend i, I probably shipped out like 15 of them and i shipped out four cases i believe it was so they're slowly moving out of the store but over time i will uh make some great money off them so up next is uh on a2 i just listed these up yesterday i pulled them out of a tote of stuff that I have not listed and uh, right here it is it is the Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers CD rock pop CD you can see right there uh, that one there sold for $4.95 and shipping on top of that I ship all my CDs out media mail of course two dollars and eighty cents is what it costs to buy her. and uh, I might try to put a video a link it to this video here of how I ship my CDs uh, I've changed some things up since a, a video beforehand uh, how I ship because some customers were saying that they was cracked and stuff I'm not sure what the Postal Service is doing with them throwing them from one side of the factory to another or putting like some dumbbells on top of the packages I'm not sure what's going on there but they're they're saying there's some of their cases that are getting broke so I'm changing up some of my shipping and I'll try to uh, show y'all how I changed it up. And it seemed to be making a drastic improvement. And I have had no uh, nobody complain since I've changed it up. So maybe I'll show you that here momentarily. And another one's on A5. 
a shelf is very popular on cds to it looks like we're gonna go down here on the bottom this is a uh gordon lightfoot cd this is the introduction to gordon lightfoot cd i should say i had a blue million of those particular cds <laughs> i'm showing still 12 of them in stock and i had a lot of them so i'm just trying to blow them out because the introduction cds are not a very big seller so i got 395 out of that cd so that's all the orders i'm pulling today that's sold so far since i went to the post office i do have a item that's getting ready to end on auction i will uh let y'all know how that turns out uh once the auction ends and uh, it's gonna be a it's a doozy i was kind of worried about it whenever i got it not thinking i would be able to get much out of it and it surprised me so uh I'll uh, I'll come back and let y'all know how I do on that. So, uh, I appreciate everybody that subscribes and watches my channel and shares it. If you don't follow me on Instagram, and uh, I post pictures on there occasionally and stuff. So, I appreciate everybody's support, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with you. I'm going to show you how I ship a CD real quick. Uh, how I changed my shipping uh, program on that so I, I went and bought this uh, foam 12 by 12 sheets I found it on Amazon I will try to link a uh, post a link in the description below uh, I bought it a hundred piece pack for 1095 free shipping for through Amazon Prime so I just take the 12 by 12s and I cut them in half and I place my CD face down there and then I just fold it take a piece of tape then you go like that I then I purchased these cardboard CD holders uh, I'm not sure I bought them on eBay I think I bought like 200 of them it was like $50 or thir no it was $38 free shipping I think is what it was if I can I'll try to find a link on that but you just take it and, and fold it up like so then I will just peel the sticky thing off the glue on them is not the best in the world so in order to secure it I just get another piece of tape and do that that way it is secured inside of a cardboard box when the customer gets it it kind of looks uh, professional all they do is just rip that open and pop out their CD then on top of that I've got these uh, CD bubble mailers. I'll just take and slide. It's a tight fit, but it fits. And I'll just slide this down inside of the uh, bubble mailer, like so. And then I try to fold it as tight as possible so there is no movement inside of the bubble mailer. So I'll try to pull it real tight and i'm not sure if y'all like me but i just don't trust glue so i'll get a piece of tape slide right there bottom boom bottom bang that's how i ship my cds and uh comment down below let me know how y'all ship yours but that's how i ship mine and it seemed to improve uh from getting damaged in uh shipping so hope that helps you out all right we got a couple more orders just came through here and they are some cds of course so let's go pull them our first one's going to be over on a2 a2 and it is skillet awake skillet awake brand new steel shrink wrap and it sold for 7.29 plus shipping 7.29 plus shipping Let's go get the other one. It's on B3. B3, and it is right here. Van Morrison Moon Dance CD, Rock Pop. And it sold for $5.95 plus shipping. $5.95 plus shipping. So. I'm going to cut the video here for today and uh, work on a few other things and 
try to get some more stuff listed on eBay. And I've been trying to list five to 10 items a day on eBay. So, and that seemed to really help because I am, before I even really noticed it and stuff, I never really paid that much attention. And right before I was getting this cabin, there was about a four day span there that I didn't list nothing at all because I was trying to get the ground ready for the shed here and stuff. And my sales just plummeted. I mean, I was going from 250 to $300 days and down to like 50 to $70 days. And as soon as I got the shed set up last Tuesday and I started getting back actively listing five to 10 items a day, my sales have been right back up to 250 to $300 a day. And yesterday, actually yesterday, it was one of my better days that I've had in a while. And uh, as you can see right there is my sales and yesterday was uh 805.63 so yesterday was a real good day a lot of high high-end items went out of here like the shark vacuum cleaner sold i had a lego boost item so those two items right there was like 250 dollars so uh those were some uh, good items that just went out of the store and yesterday was a very good day for me so i'm still waiting on the uh auction to end on my knife and at the end of the video I'll end up posting a uh, picture of how that ended. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you all tomorrow.